Hello mate and welcome back to the channel that hopes to make game development as easy and accessible and interesting as possible one video at a time. In this video we're going to look at the top reasons why you shouldn't get up your day job to create adult visual novels. If you have been living under a rock or Donald Trump's shadow for the last few years you will not have noticed that nothing at all has changed in the world with regards to pornography. Conservative nuts are still having existential crises about the immorality of something progressive such as a depiction or reenactment of something as sacred and taboo as conjugal jiggy jiggy conflicting with their god-given right to free speech without any consequence. Meanwhile liberal nutters having the same existential crisis except being lost in a mire of trying to be offended by everything and looking for reasons to find pornography of racist, sexist, homophobic, transphobic, fattest, thinnest, ageist or in some other way discriminatory meanwhile being in full support of the notion of masturbation is indeed perfectly acceptable and encouraging it, seemingly expecting everyone to walk over a blank screen or a paper bag caught in the breeze. The adult industry is turbulent at the best of times and what you might be getting a pat on the back for today could very well have either one of the political ideologies trying to have you burned at the stake tomorrow and unless you have a 10 figure bank account the chances are that you could very well be back working mops at your local McDonald's for simply not wanting to fuck someone you find repugnant. Contrary to popular belief, only the select few adult visual novels generate sufficient support to sustain the existence of one, let alone many developers. The other 99.99% of them will be lucky to ever get over $100 per month from some very demanding patrons who want you to scrap your entire story and develop exactly the game that they want you to create. Otherwise, they'll slink off to join the hundreds of people who they've already leaked the patrons only version of your game to, and in spite of having pirated your content, and still feel entitled to demand what creative direction you should take with your next update. Simply put, if you believe that you'll be able to sustain yourself or your family on the money you'll get from crowdfunding sources, you are as deluded as a dog who thinks shoving a wet nose into my whilst I'm eating will convince me to give them the contents of my plate. Patreon is a company that regardless of its intention when started quickly became popular for one thing only, porn. Jack Conti can cry on webcam as much as he wants to but the fact remains that Patreon is only as big as it is now because of adult content creators. That however didn't stop them from purging the majority of its adult content creators stating that they were removing immoral content and that it had nothing to do with the payment partners forcing them to do it and hope that nobody noticed when they only banned creators who earn small amounts of money leaving the big earners in peace. Regardless of whose fault it was or whichever conspiracy theory you choose to believe, being an adult creator on Patreon is basically a crapshoot at any moment they could decide to do another purge and your head could be one of the ones on the chopping block. Like it or not, the majority of people who call themselves adult game developers are people who download an adult VN and just before they reached a vinegar stroke decided that because the piss poor renders and truly awful narrative of the game they just used managed to bring them to a short and slightly disappointing climax that therefore must be easy and therefore they should give it a go and then subsequently quit after two months when they realise it isn't actually all that easy after all. The one thing that the majority of these people have in common is that they have absolutely no business acumen nor programming skill nor artistic talent. Therefore the only way these people think that they can become successful is by systematically trying to get everyone else doing the same thing shut down by posting false reports to the likes of Patreon or in fact anyone who listen who will with very little investigation take down other content creators for simply existing, as well as writing false reviews of games and using fake accounts on piracy forums to troll other developers. They might even go as far as to try and intimidate other content creators and try and force others into quitting whilst hiding behind multiple Gmail accounts. So not only do you have to contend with governments, political ideologists and Patreon, but you also have to contend with the other 10 million people creating content and trying to shit on each other to get ahead, whilst being too stupid to realise that competition is actually good for the avian community for oh so many reasons. 